Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly vlog. We are back again. I actually am starting the vlog not looking atrocious for once in my life. Um, it is Monday, it is quarter to three. Me and Jordan um, were in Durham this weekend, so whenever we do that I always find that it takes me a while to get back into a routine. But I've actually had quite a productive day today. I just sorted out the house, got myself ready for a new week. I've just filmed a Zara haul. It is so hot today. It's like we've had a heat wave. If you've been watching my videos or you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm in autumn winter mode. I've just filmed an autumn, win autumn winter haul. Wow, I can't even speak today. Um, and it's actually about 25 degrees outside. So I've got like a summer top on from PLT. This is like the last of my summer clothes that I've got out still. Um, I filmed my haul. I've had a HelloFresh delivery. What else have I done? Mm. I've got myself planned for the week, organised what I need to do. Um, and now I'm just waiting for Alex because, shock horror, we're um, going to enjoy a glass of wine in the sun. I mean, every single weekend, I feel like I start the vlog saying I need to be healthy. I'm on a detox. And every single week, me and Alex just ruin it. And it's because I just think life's too short. The sun's shining. I haven't seen her this weekend and I've really missed her. So we want to sit and have a glass of wine in the sun. And then because Alex and Andy also do HelloFresh, um, me and Jordan are just going to take ours up tonight. And we're going to just have a big one together because we always pretty much pick the same meals anyway. Um, so we're going to have a HelloFresh meal and sit in the sun. And Jordan literally said to me, he was like, I'm not drinking tonight. I was like, I'm, I am. To be honest, I am. I am going to have a glass of wine, or two, or three, or a bowl. Who knows? Life's too short. Drink the Whispering Angel. I also discovered a new wine, which I really liked this weekend when I was at home. Um, I've mentioned previously, love the Whispering Angel. Love that M&S Rosé one, which I can't remember the name of. Favourite white wine is, um, oh my God, what's it called? Diablo? Something Diablo? Just look for Diablo. Um, they do a red as well, but I don't really like red. Uh, that's my favourite white wine. However, it's a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Best. The best. Um, but when I was home this weekend, my mum was like, oh, I've got you on to try a new one, which I've heard is really good. So I was like, oh, okay. Fab. It's another New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. It's called Villa Maria. I've seen people talk about it on Instagram. Really, really nice. I'm sure it's only like £7 on offer everywhere. I'm sure. And my mum was like, it's always on offer. Um, and it was so nice, honestly. It was like so smooth, just a really nice white wine. Who'd have thought I'd be sat here talking about which white wines I like? Anyway, um, my nails are atrocious still because I still haven't gone to get them done. I need to do that this week. What else have I got on this week? Tomorrow, my friend Elle is coming to visit me, which I can't wait for. Um, so we're probably going to, what well, I'm going to shoot with Alex in the morning, get some content that I need to get. And then I'm going to pick Elle up from the station. We're going to go for lunch. We are going to go shopping for the afternoon. And then that's my plans for tomorrow. And then I don't really know what I've got planned for the rest of the week. I've got quite a bit of filming and shooting to do. Um, and then this weekend I'm going to try and be semi-sensible and not get drunk. Because I'm quite frankly sick to death of feeling hungover and disgusting. But I also just love to just have fun you know girls you know there's nothing better there's nothing better anyway that's the plan for my week so far i've just filmed the zara haul that should be live already so i will leave that link down below go and watch that if you haven't already i've also tried a new lip combo today it's a nyx liner i can't remember the shade i'll write in the description and then a dior lip plumping lip gloss really really like it i feel like it just looks a little bit more natural than like a thick color um and my hair's really greasy so it's up in a bun but yeah welcome to a new weekly vlog i look naked i'm not let's go drink some wine hello everybody i have been probably come on then i have been the worst vlogger <laughs> sorry am i boring you no, I've just done my makeup. I've been the worst YouTuber this week because I haven't really vlogged anything. Um, basically, I think I started the vlog on Monday and then I was just shooting content and I was busy. Yesterday, my friend came to visit me, so we 
just had a nice day i didn't want to get the camera out we literally just went for lunch caught up went shopping um and today i was just about to film an igtv um doing an at home brow lamination oh my god look at me an at home brow lamination kit but my nails i'm not even gonna let it focus they're atrocious i need to go get them done i keep putting it off i haven't had time to go and get them done this week so i'm hopefully going to be able to film that tomorrow and i'll go and get my nails done tomorrow um but yeah that's all i've really been up to i've been quite busy this week so i haven't really picked up the camera i'm going to take the dogs for a long walk me kobe and des and alex obviously <laughs> and then um what else have i got planned i need to film the last little bit of my zara haul edit that and get that scheduled that should be live already so and yeah that's it yesterday was really exciting because the bow avenue campaign which i shot a couple of vlogs ago came out and one of the photos from the shoot was in the front window so i'll insert a picture here of me in front of it me and my friend went to see it that was really exciting um i'll take it to see it actually probably at some point in this vlog because me and jordan are going to go back to see it so yeah that was really fun and exciting so my day yesterday mostly consisted of buzzing about that and i went to your sushi so yeah that's the update of what I've been up to. Um, I will try and make this vlog a little bit more interesting because right now it's literally... Kobe, please don't do that. Right now it's literally been me sat in the kitchen and it's been pretty boring but I promise I will try and make it a little bit more interesting. So yeah. I love you. Thank you, darling. How gorgeous is this jumper by the way? I got it from um, Misguided and it's like a knit hoodie. Honestly, so cute and comfy. I've actually just got it on with some like oversized joggers but it would look really nice with like mom jeans or black leggings. You know when you want to be comfortable and wearing a hoodie but you also like want to look semi-presentable. I just think it's really cute. I'll leave it linked down below. I think I got an extra small I think, which is not like me. I think I did that accidentally. But nevertheless, it fits nice. It's actually quite nice to have a jumper slash hoodie which isn't super, super oversized. Like, it stops in a really nice place. So, yeah, just thought I'd quickly show you that. Hello, everyone. It's a lot later on in the day. We went for our walk. We went for lunch. I didn't really vlog anything, to be honest. Let me flip you around. I didn't really vlog anything again shock um but jordan has just got back from work and he has brought me first of all my favorite things in the world which are these cadbury donuts they are literally my favorite thing in the world um i am obsessed with donuts that's just a known fact about me and then he's also brought me this kit kat christmas break yeah you heard that right christmas break rich and chocolatey center with crunchy wafer pieces has it got popping candy in it george it's like a, um, it's basically a multi, a Maltese's reindeer, but Kit Kat have copied and brought their version. So I'm going to try that. Jordan's going to cook me dinner, and then we're going to have a cosy night and watch a film. So that is the plan. Um, I got my Zara haul edited and ready. I'm going to upload it tomorrow. Um, and then tomorrow morning, get my nails done. So that is the plan. I'll show you what we have for tea. Oh, also, George... I really want to watch the Paris Hilton documentary. I've heard really good things. Would you be up for watching that? I mean, not really. Paris Hilton more. Okay, we can watch something else. I'll watch that with Alex next week, maybe. Yeah. It's best. Cute outfit. Anyway, I'm going to go and take my makeup off, put my pajamas on, and have a cozy night. See you soon. Okay, I've got my gym jams on. A little bit creased, but you know, we're working with it. These are from ASOS. They were from an ASOS haul quite a while ago. Um, but they're just a nice silk um, set. Just a nice lilac colour. They're just really light and floaty and cute. Um, I'm going to go take my makeup off and... Choose a film. We actually struggle choosing a film so much. Like, I will literally sit and flick through Netflix and then we finished our dinner by the time we've even picked anything to watch. So that's great. So I'm going to go and have a little look while Jordan cooks us dinner. Good morning everybody, happy Thursday. Let me grab my coffee and move away from the washing machine. 
Kobe has got a pig's ear hanging out his mouth. He gets so stressed trying to hide at places. So he walks around with it in his mouth crying and I have to help him hide it. Um, yeah, happy Thursday. I've just quickly got ready, had a shower, exfoliated, put my tan lux face drops on. I had an absolute nightmare. Um, I did my whole skincare routine, did my face drops. Then I put my hair in this bun to gel it back, put my gel on my hands, went like this, then got distracted by something Kobe was doing, forgot it was gel and went like that on my face. <sighs> Not the best start to the morning, but you know, we move. Um, I'm ready and my nail appointment is in 15 minutes, so I'm going to have to set off in a min. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to get my nails done. I don't know if this is me being like mellow dramatic but um when my nails are like this it literally like makes me feel disgusting like my toenails need doing my nails need doing and when they get done i feel so much fresher and like able to like get on with life is that really dramatic i don't know um but i think i'm literally just gonna go for a short acrylic i usually just get gel but um i don't know what's wrong with me i've bit my nails really short so they look just horrendous so i'm gonna get acrylic for one time then my nails will grow and then i'll go back to the gel life um, but I'm going to just get a really, really short acrylic with um, OPI Passion. That's what I get on the base of my um, French polish. So I think I'm going to just get that, but no white tip. So it's really natural, short, nude, and same on my toes. I was going to get French again on my toes, but I think I just nude all around um, today. So yeah, that's the plan. Then I'm going to come back, film the IGTV that I was meant to do yesterday. Um, I've had a big fashion Nova parcel and I don't think I'll do a haul so I think I'll do a mini haul at some point for you guys today and then I'm potentially shooting with Alex later I just need to find out timings and things so yeah that is the plan ready for a productive day and then tomorrow I've said to Jordan I am spending the day deep cleaning this house it's disgusting like just little things I just keep looking at and I'm like that's so dirty I feel like I clean by the way if you can hear something it's Corby eating the stool um i feel like i clean and it just gets so messy so yeah i'm gonna give it a big deep clean tomorrow that's the plan of action and yeah just thought we'd come on and say good morning really what is colby barking at now honestly this dog is having my life this weekend this week even oh sorry that you dropped something off the couch and you needed me to come and pick it up do you think your dad would be happy that you're eating his new trainer? Do you? Do you think your dad would be happy? Because I don't. Thank you. Um, what I did come on here to say is that I apologise that this vlog has been very boring. And it's literally just been me in the house telling you that I'm doing stuff but not actually showing you what I'm doing. Um, I find it really hard to actually vlog things. Like when I'm busy and doing stuff. Um, I've put my socks on by the way. Um, yeah, so apologies if this has been really boring. It's been a very at home vlog. However, next week, um, oh my God, I literally can't bend down in these jeans. What the hell? Um, next week, I've got a really fun, exciting week. Me and Alex have loads of stuff planned, and I'm going to make an effort to vlog it all. So I promise next week is going to be a lot better. Um, we're going places, we've got days planned, so yeah, stay tuned. I know this one's been a bit quiet, but I think that that's like that's what comes with the job. Some weeks I will be quite quiet and at home and just doing a lot of like at home stuff, but then next week it's more fun. So stay tuned for that, okay? Don't leave me here. Okay, everybody, my nails are done. I was actually only in there an hour, surprisingly, and I had like a full set of acrylics, gels, and then also gel on my toes. My toes are the exact same colour. This is Passion from OPI, and it's just a really nice nude. It's like usually the base of French polish, like I said, but I just thought I'd go for that for now. And yeah, why am I out of breath from walking home? I actually have issues. Um, so yeah, I am just walking home now. I'm going to go and eat some Cocoa Pops because I'm hungry and then film my video. Excuse me? Great. 
I'm just about to do some washing and Corby feels the need to do that. I've also just had a button up box delivery. Let me prop you up somewhere on here. I've just made my Zara haul live, so go and check that out. I look so pale, what the hell. Um, basically, this is a button up box delivery which is what we feed Kobe. I know this is such exciting, amazing content from me. Um, but I do actually get a lot of questions about what I feed Kobe, so let me show you. So basically, we have a monthly subscription to Button Up Box. So every month, they send us out enough food to last Kobe for the month. Um, and you can like choose the different flavours. Granted, he is so picky, so he only likes like two of the flavours. Although I think I've tried him a new one. They always bring out like new ones. We've got a free little bag here. Cute. Um, but he's really picky. He doesn't like the chicken one. He doesn't like the turkey one. He doesn't like the fish one. So he has beef and lamb. And I think a new one is pork. Did I get him pork? I don't know if I did. I don't know. But basically, it comes as a massive box, and they're all frozen like this. So Kobe has one of these a day. This is the lamb one. We'll have half on a morning, half on a night time, then like loads of treats on the day. Um, but they all get stored in the freezer, which is really good. Um, and then I take like one out every day, let it defrost for the next day, and yeah, that's what he eats. So he's got beef and lamb here. I mustn't have got the pork. Sorry, Kobe. Um, but I used to get turkey, chicken, pork, fish beef and lamb but he's a basic bitch he'd rather just have the same thing so he has lamb one day beef the next and yeah that's what i feed him i'll leave a link for button box down below if you want to have a look i really he really likes it i think it's good for him it's what we were advised from the breeder it's like raw food but not raw raw he was on natural instinct which is like raw raw like raw um and it stunk but this is a bit more like cooked meals like i'm sure that like the ingredients in this lamb thing is freshly prepared lamb, carrots, sweet potato, lentils, green beans, cauliflower, broccoli, yeast, mineral, flaxseed, turmeric, rosemary, thyme. Sorry, but he's absolutely living. That's like a lamb pie, do you know what I mean? So yeah, he likes it. That's what I feed Kobe. If you're still here watching this, congratulations. Okie dokie, guys. That is all my filming done. Um, I'm actually really happy with how it turned out and I'm glad I waited till today because the sun's shining, the lighting's good and I feel much better. Um, I'm absolutely starving. We have no food in this house because we do HelloFresh, like we don't really do a food shop for lunches and like I think I mentioned we just kind of like get whatever on the go. Um, and I'm starving so I'm going to walk to a little like cute independent cafe down the road which does like salad boxes and jacket potatoes and stuff like that. <laughs> can't wait um i've literally just got on what i had on for filming which is this why is it so dark this misguided bodysuit um my mom jeans my gorgeous darling girl bag this is the aftermath of shooting i have just oh, you can't see stuff everywhere it's a bit of a tip but you know gonna go for a little walk with kobe get some lunch and then come back and tidy up the mess. Fun. Okay, you're balanced on a towel rack, on a towel. It's not the most safe, but we're gonna just roll with it and hope for the best. Um, it's about half five. I am having a pamper night tonight. Um, I just feel like I need it, to be honest. Like I need a good pamper. I haven't been prioritising looking after myself. Oh, God. You know, your hair's been in a bun. Also, I get a lot of messages saying, like, I should be careful, like, putting my hair in a tight bun. But, to be honest, I always take out and always sleep with, like, a silk scrunchie on a really loose ponytail. So, like, I would never sleep with it in a tight bun. Um, and I never have it in for, like, long periods of time. I mean... At the fact of even showing myself looking like this anyway my ends need a good bit of care um they look worse there because they've been positioned in a bun they're not actually that dry and disgusting um but i thought i would just show you what i do if i'm having a bit of a pamper evening oh that feels so 
good. Oh my god, I look hilarious. Um, so let me get my specific hair mask tangle teaser down. And literally, what I do if I am having a pampering evening and I want to put some oil in my hair, I get my oil, which is the this one. So it is the Fatika. What is it? Fatika, is it called? You can get it on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. I've spoke about it so many times in previous videos. Um, it's actually the best thing ever. But I just transferred it into this bowl because it's easier because the other one doesn't come with like a squirty thing. Um, and I literally just squirt it in my hair. Massage it in. By the way, that's all hairspray and gel. That's not grease in my hair. Um, just to confirm that one. So yeah, I just put this all over my hair and massage it in. Depending how I'm feeling, if I want like a lot of moisturising or if I'm just doing like a quick one, then I'll either just do this in the root and then tie it up, but I'm going to go for like a big pampas night. So... That's my first step, put that through the roots and then any excess I will just drag through the ends. Then I grab my castor oil. Now I got this from Amazon, again I will link it down below. Um, there is castor oil in that Vatika hair oil but this is like pure castor oil and it's so thick. So I just get a bit of this and massage it right into the roots, the front bits where obviously my hair pulls in a ponytail. A little bit on my hand and just really massage that into my scalp. So that's the next step. What I do now, that oil is such a thick oil. Like when when you are washing this out, I'll sleep in this tonight, but when you are washing it out in the morning, um, I like to double wash my hair because, I mean, you can see it's so oily and if you don't wash it out, then you're going to dry your hair and it's going to just look greasy and oily still. Uh, so make sure you do like a double wash and really scrub your head. Um, so that is the roots. I think I'm going to put a little bit more. I look hilarious. A little bit more castor oil through the roots and the fronts of my hair oh my god i love the smell of like that oil it smells so like clean and spa like i just absolutely love it um so that is the hair mask like a car grid that is the hair mask through my roots i then i'm gonna have to go and grab my other one because it's not even in here is it no no it's not right let me go and grab my other hair mask one minute i've just actually found this new one which i got sent which i'm gonna try um it's the grow gorgeous intense thickening hair and scalp mask i've heard really good things about this and i've just found it i've got like a little drawer with all my like pr packages in of things i want to try new products so why not try this eh let's give it a go first impressions smells like sexy boy we all know how I feel about a sexy boy scent. That smells so nice. Wow. Got a dollop in my hands. And I'm just gonna put that through. I think you meant to do it on wet hair, but oh well. We'll do it on dry hair. Um, smells really, really nice. Really nice indeed, actually. Love that. Um, so I'm just going to put that all through my lens. Let me do that and then I'll come back. Right, I think I've got enough in there that it's feeling like covered. Um, I like my hair to really be covered in the mask. Like I want to sleep in it, absorb it and really get the most out of it. Um, so once I've done that and my hands are disgusting and there's hair everywhere, I'm going to use my specific hair mask tangle teaser. The reason I have a specific one is because... I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but if I use this on my oily hair and then use it on clean hair, it's going to literally just get oily straight away, so it's not going to be good, is it? 
Um, and I'm just going to scrape all of this into a high ponytail. Oh my god, there is literally no better feeling than your hair being all slick up in a hair mask. There is literally no better feeling. Am I right girls or am I right? I think I'm right. So I just keep twisting it. Looking like a bit of a ballerina but that's the vibe. Bobble around. And there I am. I'm good to go. Sleep in that. Tip. Put a towel over your pillow. Otherwise your pillow is going to be disgusting. Although I often also will just wash my pillowcases after I've done a hair mask. Just to make sure that there's no oil. Just adding a little bit more castor oil in these sparse bits. And yeah, that is hair mask in. Okay. Let me tidy up this mess and we'll move on to the next stage of the pamper evening. Okay, so next up I'm going to remove my makeup, obviously, because it's definitely not a pamper if you've got makeup on. Um, so to take my makeup off, I use the Clinique Take Off the Day. Take the Day Off, actually. That's what it's called. Um, I think, I feel like everyone knows about this product. It's amazing. Um, dry face, literally take a small amount in my finger, rub it in my hands, and then literally just start working it in to your skin. Now, the first time I used this, I was like, I don't understand how it works. Like, my eyes are black. Like, I haven't got a lot of mascara on today. I, I mean, <laughs> I didn't think I had a lot of mascara on today. But when I first did it, I was like, well, there's mascara all over my face. Like, there's no way that's coming off. But trust me, it does. So once I've worked all that in, I then just rinse with warm water. There we go. As I said, literally, it does take your mascara off. Right, so that should be all my makeup off, is it? Mm, if I feel like I've got any excess, I just go in with a cotton wool pad and some micellar water. Let me get that. I'll just put a little bit on two cotton wool pads and get like maybe down my neck like the places where it's a bit harder to wash your face if you know what I mean um just to get in like any little corners of your face and that is my makeup off now I need to choose what face mask I would like to do this evening what am I thinking I haven't really got any problem areas at the minute. Like, I haven't really got... I've got a couple of little spots, but nothing that's worrying me. So I'm thinking maybe, like, a hydration mask of some sort. Let's go have a look. Okay, so for my face mask, I am thinking of going for this one. Um, I'm not going to do it right now because I need to go and bring the washing in from outside. And I don't think the neighbours want to see me looking like this. But I'm going to put it on in a minute. What is it? The 111 Skin... Harley Street London face mask and honestly it's rose gold brighten facial treatment I've used this before it is unreal let me read you what it says on there um 24 karat gold enhances skin radiance to brighten an even skin tone reinforces and protects skin barrier rejuvenates and nourishes the skin honestly all in all it's lovely Kobe I am trying to have a relaxing pamper evening and I don't appreciate you jumping up with a ball hanging out your mouth. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Can I have a paw? Thank you, darling. Can I have a high five? Thank you. Good boy. There is just something so satisfying about getting all your washing done dried and put away in one day don't you think like i've done three loads of washing today and dried it all Kobe, don't even start with me dried it all and now put it away like i just feel like i feel like i've just accomplished a lot when i've done that wow this face mask is very wet i don't recall it being this wet 
the hell? Oh my god, what the actual hell? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my actual god, it's dripping everywhere. peel off the plastic bit sheet masks i love the idea but they aren't ever so messy on me like they're not actually being funny or anything but oh, oh my god health oh my god where's my mouth okay we're in we're in we're in let me go in front of a mirror and sort myself out okay i think we're on everybody i think corby's freaked <laughs> freaked out by me hi darling He's just staring at me like in pure fear. Hello? Hello? He's really confused by this. I mean, these masks feel so nice. They feel expensive. Oh my God, they're absolutely unreal. I can't remember where I got them. I know I said like where they're from, but I can't remember where I actually got them from. I think I got them in a package. Um, I always, <laughs> I can't talk when I do that. I always like rub the excess down my neck and on my hands. And yeah, I'm just going to leave this on. How long does it say to leave this on for? Let's have a little look. 20 minutes. So I'm going to go watch some YouTube and relax with this on. Um, and yeah, I'll see you when I'm in. Okay, so I'm actually going to just sign off the vlog for today. Um, because I'm just going to... I'm not even in focus. Because I'm just going to, I can't take myself seriously, um, get cosy on the couch and watch some YouTube and make myself some dinner. So, I will. This, do you know what? This looks weird it looks like it's like a wax figure. Like, I look like a, a wax, I was going to say a wax melt, like a wax figure. Really weird. Um, but yeah, I'll speak to you all in the morning. Um, and yeah, love you. I just had to really quickly show you it from this lighting. Like, look how unreal that actually looks. I know I look scary, but like, how lush is that? Good night. Good morning, everybody. I've um, washed my hair, mask on my hair. It smells and feels so nice. I haven't even bothered drying it. I'm just letting it air dry because I'm trying to use as little heat on my hair as possible. Um, I don't need to be ready until this afternoon, this afternoon, so I'm just leaving it at that. Um, I've just had a delivery from PLT, and I was like, that's strange, because I haven't ordered anything. I've finished, like, I usually work with them, but I've just finished working with them and haven't picked any new bits. Opened it. It's their advent calendar. Now... I had this last year and I gave it to my sister as a present and some of the stuff in there was amazing but I'm just confused like I'm, it's it's the 18th of September and I've got an advent calendar Christmas really is coming isn't it guys like what the hell um these are literally so nice and such a nice gift I'll just read you what it says on here um the pretty little thing advent calendar has finally arrived Featuring all your favourite brands, including Morphe, Beauty Works, Tatty Lashes, and Vita Liberata. Available to... Uh, you can just wait down there. You don't need a beauty advent calendar. Available to buy on Monday the 21st of September from prettylittlething.com. Honestly, really recommend these. They're a really nice gift for people. Or if you just want to treat yourself, get it. Because you really do get some amazing things in. Last year it was like makeup, fake tan, candles, skincare. So much good stuff. Um... So yeah, this is not an ad or anything, I just got sent it, but amazing, what the hell, Christmas is coming, what a madness. Okie dokie, here we are, I've got rollers in my hair, please excuse this just array of clips, this front bit always falls into my face, um, so I just put like loads of clips to get them out of the way. I use the Babyliss Boutique heated rollers i did a little tutorial on instagram it's in my hair care highlight um but i will link them down below for you all they are the best rollers ever and what i usually do is put them in my hair do my makeup while they're in take them out and it's literally like you've had a blow dry they are so good um and i feel like when i do it my hair lasts i only have to redo the front bit 
um, but I'll show you my hair when I take it out but I'm going to leave them in for a little bit longer today because I've got a lot on so put these in I'm going to do you a little haul I've had a couple of deliveries from Fashion Nova and Missy Empire so I'm going to show you them um, I'm then shooting with Alex and then Jordan actually just texted me saying that he's taking me on a date tonight don't know what I did to deserve this or what he's after but I'm excited he said he's going to take me to this cute little pub um, like a proper little cosy pub vibe so that's a fun time for everyone involved um so i want to look cute i don't know what i'm gonna wear i feel like i'm feeling like below the knee boots maybe like an oversized jumper dress i haven't really got any jumper dresses maybe there's an item in here which is really nice which potentially could look nice with the boots but maybe a bit dressy for a pub i don't know i'll have to have a little look so Start my Missy Empire. I got this leather jacket. Eh. I got this leather jacket just because my only leather jacket is this Border Skins one. And it's quite like tight fitting. So I wanted one that was a bit more like chill. Um, however, I got a medium. I think I still could have done with a large because it's not that big. But it's just like a leather jacket. It's got a buckle detail. I just thought it was nice. I think it like is really good quality for the price. I can't remember how much it was. Um, but I'll link it down below as always. But yeah, just thought a nice leather jacket, just handy to pop on with jeans and a hoodie or just jeans and a top. Can't go wrong, can you? And then I also got another leather item is some leather trousers, basic leg and fit, but they've got the slit at the bottom. I just love this effect with chunky trainers. I think it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, I've got them. I've got them in a size 10. I think I could have probably done with an 8 because they look quite big, but... I'll probably be wearing with oversized hoodies and oversized jumpers anyway, so it doesn't really matter if they're a little bit big. Okay, from Fashion Nova. First up, this is the dress which I might wear tonight. Really cute. It's like a blazer dress, but short sleeved, tie waist. Then with like below the knee boots, I think would look really cute. Don't know if they'll be a bit dressy for a pull. I might walk in and they might be like, excuse me, where do you think you're going, honey? But it's from the Nova Vintage range. And I really like that range. I've mentioned it previously. It's called the Celine Blazer Dress in Cream. I got a medium. Really good quality. I hope it fits. I haven't tried it on yet. But yeah, I just think that's really nice. Then I also got this cute top. I just like these with like joggers or jeans. Um, just a little maroon coloured ruched top. It's called rushed and stunning ribbed top in mocha size small just a basic really nice with joggers like i said with jeans you name it next up we've got a black satin shirt i thought tucked into jeans you can't really see there but it's like low cut um i just thought you know when you're going for like a meal or something you want to look nice and like dressy and sexy but also quite covered up just thought that was a good shout i got that in a size small it's called the Touched by Touch Satin Top. I then got these black leggings, which are all ruched. Like, they're all ruched. And again, I just thought a black legging, but a little bit dressier and nicer. And these also have a slit at the bottom as well, I think. Yes, they do. Can't really see them. They look like nothing there, but really cute on and just another nice dressier legging alternative and then the final item which is my favorite is this khaki bomber let me show you it on it is just a basic an essential i live in my black plt one so i thought right i need a khaki oh i like that it's it's really like bat winged like there's so much room do you know what i mean oh i love that that is so nice i would probably fold it up wear a cropped hoodie underneath oh that is cool let me look in the mirror oh i absolutely love that you know so i feel like i'm literally moving my head like this because i can't really move my neck because my rollers but yeah love that this is called the obsessed with me bomber jacket all oversized small so yeah there's a little mini haul for you i'm now going to take these rollers out and shoot a quick pic okay let's take these out i've just took my sleeves down because i was trying on outfits don't mind me 
Um, I don't know how good these are going to hold because it was on freshly washed hair. So we may have some um, that like fall out really easily. But I don't really mind because I don't really like the like really tight blow dry look anyway. I prefer like brushed out. This is a lot of effort. I hope Jordan appreciates it to be honest. I'll be honest, I actually prefer my hair up these days. Like, I don't know, I just don't like the maintenance of having it down. Like when it's down, I've always got to fiddle with it and brush it and make sure it looks okay. Whereas when I've got it in my sleek bun, I literally can put that bun in first thing in the morning and by the evening, like I haven't had to touch it. And that's what I just love about the bun, you know? It is very easy. Oh God! Don't fall on me like that in the last minute. Let me just try and get these out without getting myself in a kerfuffle. These have actually gone really well today. I'm really happy with how it looks. Maybe on clean hair it does work. I always thought clean hair it would be, you know, a bit dead, but it's not. Right, I take this huge clip off. I've got about 50 clips in the front of my hair. Right, the front bit is my favourite bit of all time. So, we unravel it and we are left with something that looks a bit like that. I should not have done my lip gloss first. And then, I literally just put it back into its parting. Where is my hairbrush? Right, let me put it in a parting. So I separate it into the parting and there we have it. That's why I do the front bit together as one because I feel like it just makes it so much more voluminous and I like when it comes right forward in your face. So that is what it looks like when it's freshly taken out. Honestly, it's so good, isn't it? Like, I literally love how it makes you look like you've got a blow dry. So then what I'll do is just spray with some hairspray and then I'd either brush it out um, like if I was going straight out or I'd just leave it. So I'm probably just going to leave it for now um, and then I'll brush it out later on when I'm about to head out. But yeah, highly recommend them rollers. I'm going to pause this or I'll get copyright. Um, just thought I'd show you a little bit better the hair now that I've sorted out the front bit. I'm really happy with it. Oh my god, I thought my babe was out there. <laughs> um, and I've got a new lip combo on today as well. I'm really being adventurous with my lips these days. So I got sent this in a PR package. It is the Peaches and Cream um, Praline Lip Liner. Um, it's like a chocolatey... It looks more nude on here, but it's like a brown. And then, actually, I haven't been that adventurous. I changed my lip liner. Just my usual Dior Plump and Lip Gloss. My hair isn't going to look like this by the time I go out with Jordan, so Jordan, if you're watching this, can you just know that this is what I want it to look like, okay? Thanks. Because after shooting, I swear to God, I'll just look a mess. Like, getting changed three times in the car is not going to do anything for a gal, is it? Okay, hi guys. A little bit later on in the day now. It's actually really getting quite warm outside, um, but Alex should be here any minute now to pick me up. Let me show you my first outfit. I have just got on this um, top from AYM, the new Missy Empire leather jacket, Levi jeans, Balenciagas and then these sunglasses are from Noughts and Kisses. You can't really see them that well but yeah, I literally hate having my hair down. It's just in the way, I don't enjoy it. Oh, I just wish it was up but you know, we move. Okay, so I'm ready for day at night I put my hair up in a bubble because I literally cannot cope with it down that whole shoot with Alex I was literally just like I hate my hair it looks just so I don't know I'm I need to do something with it because I literally don't like it down at all um so I've put it in a sleek bun these earrings I got ages ago I think I got them from like a little market so that's not helpful this top is the new fashion nova one which I showed in the haul these jeans are my new Zara ones and then these chunky boots are public desire 
And then I'm just taking this oversized aviator jacket from PLT just to put over my shoulders if it gets a bit cold. Perfume, I am just wearing my Tom Ford Black Orchid, one of my faves. I don't know if I should do a gloss on that. Mm. Let's stay matte because I plan on eating a lot of food. Um, so yeah, about to go and get in the car. I'll speak to you all when we're in the car. I always feel so bad leaving Kobe because he just sits and stares at us like this. Even though he gets so much love and attention all the time and we're only leaving him for a couple of hours and he's got all his toys and we can watch him on the furbo. He just sits there like that. Good boy. See you soon. So we are in the car, we are nearly there and we're going to somewhere called the Joiner's Arms in Derby. I've never been. Jordan went the other night with our friend um, he said it was really nice and good vibes and good cocktails. Sorry about this lighting. So that's where we're going. And then we're going to some other places for a couple of drinks. Is that right? Yeah, wine bars. Some wine bars. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'll show you what we get. We're getting food at this place. I think we like specialise in pizzas. So I think I might get a pizza, you know. Or a hanging kebab. Apparently we do hanging kebabs. Jordan's been telling me all about it. So I will show you once we get there. Okay, so we've just sat down, Jordan's lit a candle, I've got a mojito, and it looks really cute. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it hasn't been a success because the first thing I ordered was an espresso martini and I didn't have any available. Then I ordered this parma violet, that wasn't available, so I had to go for an elderflower mojito. So didn't have my beer available. They what? They didn't have my beer available. They didn't have Jordan's beer available, so Jordan told them we were on a first date and that, and that they're ruining our first date. Now I've whipped out my camera and everyone thinks I'm weird, so I'm gonna go by. Okay, starter has arrived. We've got a camembert mm, and some little chorizo sausages, which we're gonna share. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like because me and Jordan have sort of seats, so I've got a bit of a better view. Yum. Okay, so my pizza has arrived. Jordan's just cut this half for me, like a lovely boy. I've got half of this one, which has like caramelized onion brie balsamic then this one is chicken mushroom sweet corn and barbecue yum and it's really dark now so it looks really cute and jordan's got a kebab i mean i'm definitely not going to be able to eat all this but you know that's life hello everyone i apologize for how wonky that is oh my actual god i'm so sorry about that it's very wonky but my face is kind of straight is it i don't know anyway good morning it is now Saturday um, and I'm just on my way to pick Alex up and um, we had a lovely date night last night such a nice cute little venue really nice and the food was amazing we ate so much food like we literally finished food we were gonna go for a few more drinks and we were both just like you like are really full and I was like yeah you he's like let's just have one more here and then we can go and I was like brilliant I mean you know you've been in a long-term relationship when that's how your dates go but you know it was great we loved it we had a really nice night um so yeah like i said i'm now is that better there no let me put you there so yeah like i said i'm now on my way to pick alex up we're gonna go and shoot a couple of outfits and then go and get some brunch because when we shoot on a saturday we like to reward ourselves with brunch and then at about one o'clock I'm taking Jordan a football. Excuse me. Good morning everyone. Happy Sunday. Please excuse the state of me. Um I'm just sat editing this vlog and about to upload it to YouTube. Um and I realised that the last clip was me in the car and it literally cuts off mid yawn. Like it's as if the camera's just like, do you know what? My battery's gonna die because you are just not okay, Dion. So it just cuts off when I'm literally mid yawn, which you would have just seen. Um, but this video is already 48 minutes, 44 seconds long. So I'm gonna end it here and then I'm gonna start a new weekly vlog because we've got a nice Sunday today. So I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.